Hi, everyone. Um, today, uh, we, we are very interested in the scalability of IPFS. So um, uh, the problem is, is different to the scalability in uh, the blockchains. So uh, actually, our basic question is, let's say if we have um, 100 gigabytes files to store, a 100 gigabyte DAG, so how we can store in IPFS with the space constraint of each node is 10 gigabyte. So uh, we consider to use uh, a sharding that we partition the DAG into uh, several nodes. And um, let's say if the node is lack of storage and it is not enough for them to store the whole DAG, he will partition the DAG into several disjoint part and share the shards to other nodes. Um, we consider two problems. Uh, the first problem is that how we can shard um, evenly. So we gave a solution that maybe we can use uh, DFS. So you download the whole DAG and um, you, uh, you run a DFS algorithm and you can just uh, directly run a DFS algorithm and count the total space, the total size. So when the space is full, you can select, to, uh, you can select this sub DAG and, um, as a shard. The third problem is that, um, is that when you pin on IPFS, actually you recursively pin their children. So if you pin, the whole DAG will be added. How to solve, the, how to solve this problem on sharding, we provide another solution that um, maybe we can use a, a dummy age. Let's say each time we partition a DAG, um, we change the age between shards uh, to be a dummy age. That is, when you pin, you ignore this age, but when you, cat, you, you run an IPFS cat, um, you recursively uh, cat the, the, the data to the, uh, the, the data of the age. And finally, you can download the whole uh, data on the DAG. Yeah, thank you. Oh. We also made some, he made some magnificent uh, drawings for you to see. Uh, please consider uh, the deep dive jury. Uh, we're very interested in. Thank you very much, Hong. Thank you. Thank <laughs> you.